y'all we're driving through Glencoe and I think we're just now actually getting into it and it is so green out here so green probably look even greener if I didn't have to squint so much why not y'all it's like a golf course it is so green They're stopped. No, oh, no they're, they're going coming. now. Well, I'm waiting. I hope I gave them enough room. We're on a single lane road, y'all, and really it's hard working. To film this. Well, I'll probably slow it down so it's smoother. Yep. I'm getting some of the car in it. We're off on, I don't know how to say it. I'll put it on screen. The Glen Etive Road or something like that, which is a single lane. I'm currently parked in a passing place, which you're not supposed to do, but there's lots of room, so I think it'll be fine. And we're gonna go down there and try and get by the river. Somehow. I don't know how. Keep going. I know, like I said, Evan is a mountain goat. Look at this pretty scenery, though. Okay, let, let's try and do this. Evan's made it down. And we're getting there. Uh, is it cold? It's not very cold out here right now. Ta-da! It's very peaceful out here. Oh. Oh yeah, that's not very cold at all compared to some of the mountain streams at home. No, that ain't cold. Eden made it. made it. I can't put my feet in there though. Uh, no, I would recommend not doing that. Going back up. Eating lunch down the Glen Etive Road. <laughs> America's peanut butter is better. There you go. That's the place that was in the second Harry Potter film. We made it to the castle. Eileen Donan Castle. Ta-da. Look at that. Don't mind me about to walk into the wall, it's all fine. Dun, dun, dun. Clan McRae. Cannons. Interesting. We're at the courtyard. Ta-da! 
All right, so we're done for today. Uh, today was a very long day, even though we didn't actually do a ton. It was definitely our longest day with the driving. Like, we drove multiple hours at a time today. So, yeah, lots of driving. Uh, Eden and Evan are both currently dying in their beds. You know, as you do. Um, and yeah, we are staying in... I have no idea how to say this. Alt Gouish Inn or something like that in Garve. Although to be fair, like we are in the middle, the absolute middle of nowhere. There is nothing out there. But yeah, we're gonna be eating dinner at the hotel here in just a few minutes. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I guess notes from today. It took about, it took a couple of days, but I think I am finally comfortable driving on the left side of the road. Finally. The, uh, skinny roads are still scary, and the single track lanes are still weird, but we're doing good. And look at all of the little things that they give you. This is more than any other hotel. Like, I'm impressed. Alrighty, so uh, it's just me in the car today. I'm all alone. Uh, today is actually a rest day. We're staying in uh, Altguish Inn, I guess. I'm sorry if I'm saying that very, very wrong. But we're staying there for two nights. This is gonna be the second one. Uh, the other two, well, actually, we all three kind of have a cold or something. Uh, the other two are more down for the count, though. I'm not feeling as bad, so I'm gonna go out and kind of explore some like local things and also get some gas, gas because uh, well, we're low on gas and I'd rather not get stranded out here. So that is my goal for today is just see some little sites that they have sprinkled around, not very many, but a couple and get some gas, which I'm nervous about because it's different than in America and I don't know how to do it. So we're gonna figure that out. Yay! All right, I have successfully reached my first uh, adventure spot, I guess, which is Rogi Falls. Uh, it's, as the name implies, it is a waterfall, and you can do a short hike out to the suspension bridge and get a really good view of it, apparently. So that's what I'm gonna do, you know, and uh, bring along my huge jug of water, because we all know that I drink way too much water when I start getting hot. Okay. Here we go, hopefully it will be an easy hike. It said it was, but easy is apparently a very relative term. more of those flowers. And I found the end of the trail. Yeah, supposedly in uh, like August you can see salmon jumping, but uh, it is not August, so. Oh yep, there it is. Suspension bridge that I'm gonna get on. Here we go. Whoa. Nice and jiggly. solo adventure session is done and it worked out great it was actually a really really short hike like I said a half a mile but it didn't even feel that long honestly and there it is Rogi Falls 
All right, now for the next adventure. Find a petrol station slash gas station. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, so uh, getting gas actually was not that bad. It was definitely different from the US though. Like, for one, there is no paying beforehand. You fill up and then you have to walk into the station and tell them what pump you're at and you tell and then you pay. Uh, the one that I filled up at also does not cut off automatically. So I had to figure out how many gallons this rental car holds, which is like 13-ish. And we had used about, let's see, three-fourths of the tank. So we needed like 10 gallons. And then I started filling up and then I realized they do it in liters. And I was like, oh crap, how many liters are in a gallon? So I had to Google that. It was uh, three-ish. Lots of ishes in my math. And uh, so yeah, so I filled up with 30 liters around about that much and yeah I definitely pro like topped out the tank it is uh, very full and yes I have no idea how much it costs because I just kind of blanked out because no matter what it was going to be a painful price so yeah don't know that I don't want to know that yeah um what else the other solo adventure thing I was going to go on didn't work out because I could not find it. It was like this cute thing called a touchstone maze. Ugh, my arm's getting tired. It was this cute thing called a touchstone maze. And it really wasn't a maze. It was just like this rock layout kind of thing. But it looked really cute. I wanted to go like sit down and wander around and stuff. But I could not find it. I tried three different routes. And no. Don't know. The thing, like, most of the reviews, it sounded like people stumbled upon it on accident, so that might just be how you get there. I don't know. Just accidentally wind up there. Which is fitting. It looks kind of fayish. So, yeah. Didn't go to that. I did, however, get a lovely driving tour of, what was it, Strathpeffer? Something like that? And Dingwall. Cause I drove through those towns, kind of zigzagging, looking for the somewhere to park, or somewhere that said where this place was or anything. Couldn't find it, but the towns are cute. Strathpeffer especially. It was very, very adorable. And now I am back at the hotel like three hours after I left. I'm gonna sit in there until dinner, which we are eating at this inn again because the other one, well the next closest place was already booked for the day apparently, which is a shame. It looked really cute. But yeah, the food here was fine, so... I do think I'm going to bring my water bottle with me, though, because they do not give refills here, which, for me, as a person who drinks a lot, it doesn't really work. So I'm going to get a drink and also bring my water bottle. All right, we're off on another adventure. This time it is not solo. We decided to come to the dam that is, like, right down the road from the hotel. The, however you say that, Glass Carnock Dam. Oh, see, this is what I was talking about. It's just this random picture of locks and it's like a 12 lock puzzle i'm like how is that a puzzle what is it talking about can you unlock it i have no idea i mean obviously you don't have to it's not like yeah. it, the gate actually blocks you from getting there but yeah there's just this picture and a guy standing next to him i'm like what do you there. do we're walking on the dam oh The hotel. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, there's our hotel right there in the distance. That's what we're saying. Off Gouache Inn. Or whatever. And there we are. We made it above the water finally. We. And you can see the windmills over the hill over there. Looks like they're all moving today. I know, it must be windy enough. We found our viewpoint just a couple of miles down from the dam. Such 
<laughs> you don't have to. Look at the grass blowing in the breeze. It's so peaceful. I love it. I don't know what today's date is. It is the 18th. 